We're Hairbrain Schemes. You may know us from our other games, the Shadowrun Trilogy and Battletech. Our new game is called The Lamplighters League and The Tower at the End of the World. It's 1932, and a secret occult war is nearly lost. The forces of evil are so close to victory, claiming the very source of magic itself. The best of the best are all dead, so you'll need the best of the worst. Thieves, scoundrels, cutthroats, and traitors to stop them. Just like our other games, the Lamplighters League features turn-based tactical combat. But unlike our other games, this one adds a real-time infiltration phase. In real time, you'll scout the enemy, exploit the position, before deciding that things are going to get loud. I like lowering the risk. So I'll go around and I'll pick off key enemies that I don't want in my fight. So I get to pick and choose how I engage. You can just steamroll your way down one way or increase your options. Uh, it kind of really depends on how you how you want to play. You never seem to run out of like the depth of choice. Right, and it's just, it's constantly surprising. And even when things look really dire, you can like snatch victory from defeat. <laughs> you can also snatch defeat from victory, but like, you know. <laughs> I do think one of my favorite things about the gameplay is that combinatory factor, is finding those combinations, not just of characters bouncing off of each other, but how can I use the environment? What combination is best for this mission compared to another mission? I really, really appreciate the, the focus on story and the focus on character. Um, and the ability to kind of see these people change and grow over the course of the game. I like the mix, the mix of a problem to solve to keep these characters alive while I grow more attached to them every mission. They're very human and they don't come together without friction, so it's pleasant uh, to watch them interact with each other as they try and get out of tough scrapes. Yeah, we made it so that they all have things to say to each other, both on and off the field. You know, we really tried to make them as much of a like a team, a reluctant team at first, but a, but a team as possible. Everyone here are the best of the worst, so to speak. They are rogues. These are not the people you look to to save the world. It is about them doing what they have to do to survive and doing what they have to do to really just get ahead. When you play and you try different characters, um, you know, I've said it before, but it's kind of a new experience every time. 